this paper was published, which I think deserves a lot of attention. And we've talked about Yamanaka factors and reprogramming cells, you know, adjusting the epigenetics of a cell to make it youthful, basically reversing aging. And, you know, a couple episodes ago, I talked about how there's great proof and evidence now that aging is a result of degradation or changes in the epigenome, the little molecules that stick on top of the DNA in a cell that decide what proteins are expressed that make that cell different from all the other cells. The difference between an eye cell and a muscle cell and a skin cell is the epigenetics of that cell, even though they all have the same DNA in the nucleus. And so the Yamanaka factors, these four chemicals that allowed the expression of these four specific genes, cause cells to become stem cells that can turn into any other cell. The problem with applying Yamanaka factors to reverse aging is that it turns the cells into cancer cells if you apply too much. So then there were all these efforts on doing short bursts of Yamanaka factors. And more recently, there's been an effort to do gene insertions uh, through viral vectors. So you basically get a virus to deliver a gene into a cell that causes that cell to express some of the Yamanaka factors that makes that cell more youthful. And there's actually clinical trials underway right now to apply this as a medicine for, uh, for vision loss. Um, where you can make the, uh, the, the retinal oh, cells really? actually youthful. Yeah, really incredible. So the, the problem right now is that we don't really know how to target the cells, how to provide the right amount of Yamanaka factor stuff, and how to get it there. Is it these gene-expressing viruses, or what do we do? But this paper shows that you can use small molecules. Basically, small molecules are like Advil or Tylenol, or you know, there, there's about 1,800 molecules in a, in a certain reference library that's used in medicine. And what this research team at Harvard um, Medical um, and, and some other uh, facilities, MIT and other places uh, in collaboration were able to do, is they basically did a screen, a combinatorial screen. So they took all these different molecules that are known to be used in medicine, and they combined them together and created different cocktails. They then took those cocktails, and they applied them to the cells to see if they could reverse aging. And in fact, they found six different cocktails of small molecules that were able to have the same effect as we see with the Yamanaka factors in short bursts to cause these cells to actually reverse their aging and become youthful again. I cannot overstate how important this is. This is probably the most important trajectory of what's underway in biology since the discovery of DNA. This ability to actually make cells youthful again, it can, in fact, ultimately result in a pill or a series of pills that can reverse aging. That is why it is so exciting right now. And we're seeing this data coming out from this research team. And I have heard separately about data that has not yet been published by other research teams following the same track to do the same thing. That it turns out, it may in fact be possible to create pills with small molecules in it, things that your body can absorb and end up in your bloodstream and go into different cells that actually rejuvenate the cells, fix the epigenetic data loss that happens in those cells, causes them to become more youthful. You could see a, a cream that you could apply to your skin that takes away wrinkles. Ultimately, you could take something that makes your heart healthier, your liver healthier, and actually reverses aging in the individual cells by the absorption of these small molecules into those cells that ultimately cause the expression of these genes and change all the transcriptome, as it's called, in a cell and makes it more youthful. It is unbelievable work. Everyone should be, um, I think, fascinated by this. Uh, and where it's headed, it is so exciting that there are multiple teams that are having breakthroughs on this work that could ultimately translate into clinical trials um, and products. <laughs>